Jeffrey, you don't mind if I warm my testicle by the fire, do you? No, no, please do. Please do, by all Jeff means. Jeff and I, you catch us at an inopportune moment, lady. Oh, my testicle got cold. Hold on. Uh, uh, there it goes. There you go. Right back to the old knee. Yeah, hang on, let me just let me just get the other side. Yeah. So, uh, you don't want to end up like Mercury. Oh, no, no. We're no Mercury, about... uh, very hot on one side, very cold on the very other. Very cold on the other, yeah. Can you swing that thing back and forth like a pendulum between your knees? Can you? What, this, this Downton Abbey companion book? Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. Uh, what does this do for you? Quite a bit, actually. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. Jeff and I, Jeff's uh, going to have a Downton Abbey uh, round at his book club quiz night. <laughs> right? We're really improv tonight, folks. <laughs> right, okay, I got All it. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah that's that's right. We're improving. So your yeah. your book club is having a Downton Abbey trivia quiz. Trivia quiz, now. right? Yeah. Okay, and I'm uh, you're just I'm going to ask you questions out of this book about Downton Abbey, and we'll see how much you actually know. All right, you got it. All right then, uh, who is Master Bates? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Look away if you don't want to know the answer. <laughs> or if the question was who masturbates. Look away if you don't want to know the answer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who is Bates, then? Who is Bates? All right. Who is he? What did you say? Who's Bates? Who's Bates? Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Sphincter. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Have you never seen Downton Abbey? No, I've never watched a single show. Well, you see, here's the problem. That's going to work against you in your book club trivia <laughs> quiz. We've got a lot of fans. We've got... My Facebook is just piling on, man. People are getting excited about this thing. About what thing? That thing. Let me... Excuse me just a second. Yeah. I've got a pretty bad sinus infection, and I'm on some very heavy-duty medication. So I'm not entirely sure... <coughs> excuse me, if I'm here. There may be some difficulty this evening. Because it goes so smoothly every other night. <laughs> Correct? What's going on? Are you on medication? No, I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I'm concerned about you. Why? Well, you've been very ill for a while. I have, but I'm getting better. I can feel it. In my testicle. <laughs> okay. The live one. <laughs> the, the other one passed away, did it? No, it's just in stasis, waiting for the day when Britain needs it again. It was a hero once to the people. Once, and now it's buried underground until such time as the British Isles is threatened, and then it will rise up and lead an army of other testicles. The great testicle army. There you are. We'll be right back with our show, everybody. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Robitussin. Control your cough with Robitussin. Don't suffer the cough consequences. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
Thank you. It's all good. Fight. Quietly, everyone. Quietly. Quietly. That's very good. I am so... I am so glad you're such a good audience because we have a very bad show for you this evening. And we're going to need your help. It's going to be real... Oh, hell, what the... Hey, heck? your eyes went funny there. Do it again. It's okay, man. I'm having some problems. <laughs> really? I liked, I, I liked when I said, we're going to need your help because it sounded like Dora the Explorer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've got to do the show and we're going to need your help. I have to tell you this thing. I'm very hyped up. I'm on a lot of medication. I, uh, I've got a sinus infection, and what medical science can do now is terrific. So, I was watching. Uh, this, there's a show for little kids called Team Umizumi, right? It's just for little kids. It's uh, and I'm watching it with my three-year-old, and they go, "Hey, you're in Team Umizumi. What do you think?" And my three-year-old's like, "I'm not on your team." <laughs> He's like yelling yeah. at the TV. He's like, I'm not on your team. Don't say I'm part of your team. I'm not part of your team. I'm like, that is definitely my kid. Yeah. 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 I've, I've never been so proud. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. You sing. Let's make that a new thing. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. When I go like this, will everyone go, hoo, hoo. Okay. All right. right, you ready? <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> well, it's, it's already old. That's great. It's already, yeah, I'm over yeah. it now. Yeah, I'm not part of your team. I'm not part of your <laughs> team. Actually, I might be a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'm just. <laughs> ah. Uh, what was I going to talk about? That thing I saw in the National Enquirer, right? Oh, that thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, the yeah. National Enquirer, where I got all my news. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still actually going? It's still going, right? Because you need to know about uh, Bat Boy. Was Bat Boy that? that? Sure, yeah, Bat Boy. Yeah, yeah anyway. Around, yeah. Oh, no. Somebody was like, no. <laughs> the hell, man? I don't know, man. People are stupid. <laughs> anyway, look. Um, the National Enquirer, where I get my news, reporters is reporting that Bruce Jenner has had surgery to become a woman. No. Yes! <laughs> I know! And, as luck would have it, apparently, we have the exclusive first photograph. Oh, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, but apparently we have the first photograph of Bruce Jenner after the procedure. Uh, may I see the... Well! Oh, let's do it. <laughs> a woman in California gave birth to a 15-pound baby boy. Yeah, yeah, there's your woo-woo right now. 15 pounds, that's like, no! Ah! That's a lot of baby, 15 pounds for a baby? Yeah, exactly. Now, don't worry, the kid is perfectly healthy, so the parents, uh, the parents are, in fact, naming him after the place he was conceived. Little Nuclear React. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe he'll hang out with Bat Boy. Yeah, I guess. NBC, uh, which is a cable company, has scrapped their plan. <laughs> hey, their choice, not mine. NBC has scrapped their planned reboot of the show Murder, She Wrote. Angela Lansbury was a poster, remember this? Oh, yeah. They were going to make, because it was a CBS show and Angela Lansbury was in it, and then NBC were going to remake it, and she was like, No! <laughs> How dare you! I will not. I will not. She's very happy about it. She was photographed today, very happy about it. Do you have a picture? There she is. Look at that. Yeah. 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 You know what's going on today? What's happening? There's a big economic forum in Davos in Switzerland. Oh, you know I'm what that is? Talk about yeah, the, the World Economic Forum. It started today. It's the meeting of the world's uh, richest people. You know, billionaires, CEOs, fat cats, and muckety mucks. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, fat cats and muckety mucks is the name of my Harry Potter fan blog. 
Fat cats and muckety mucks. I get, I get cats and I dress them up as characters from Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, people love it. Do we have a picture of me working on it? There I am. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, there you go. That's enough. <laughs> The cat on the right is named Permione. <laughs> Permione. Per yeah. yeah. I just saw a lady in the front row going, what the hell is going on? <laughs> sorry you didn't make it to the Price is Right. Yeah, sorry, lady. Yeah. And also, I have to say, I, um, you know, I'm on a lot of medication, so it might be a, li a little madder than usual. <laughs> <laughs> He's high! <laughs> Let's watch him do stuff, yeah! Well, uh, <laughs> All right, stop doing that. Don't do that anymore. That's what everybody does. I'm not part of your team! We don't need you. We're we, individuals. No, 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 we do need them. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, we don't need them. Without them, we're just a couple of... We're a man and an appliance in a basement. That's what we've always been, Craig. I'm proud. You've always been the caretaker of the basement. Excuse me a second. You're freaking me out, man. Yeah. I'm on a bit of medication and I've got my, you know, sinus thing still going on. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> will you get us to the commercial break? Sure, I will. Uh, shall I turn over here? Yeah, I'd like when you do that. Get a good look at your rump. <laughs> You're watching The Late Late Show, and just think, this is us after the procedure. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Welcome back, where tonight... Tonight, we're going, we're going crazy tonight. Things are out of control. Things are out of control. I'm on a lot of medication. Jeff is... I'm malfunctioning. He's malfunctioning. I feel like I know this studio audience a lot better than I probably do. Yeah. I, I think what it is is this. Sometimes... Oh. Sometimes, you know, you feel you've been with people longer than you've actually been with them. Yeah, yeah. You feel like you've met them in previous lives or will see them again at some point in the future. You were on a lot of medication. I am. I was really sick. I mean, I really didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought I had something serious. And it turns out it is not really serious, but um, unpleasant. Unpleasant. It feels serious. It feels serious. Yes. <laughs> if it's any consolation to you, we don't know what the is going on either. <laughs> okay. That's right. <clears throat> What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man whose testicle is a hero of the people and a crusader for justice. Thank you. Play the jingle. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right. Hell to the metal, we're getting there soon. Drag me out of bed and gag me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm groaning to the back. Welcome back, everyone. This is, uh, this is from Lana in uh, Manayunk in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Manayunk. Manayunk. Man Man have Man you ever seen Manayunk? Oh, I have many times. What does Manayunk look like? <laughs> <laughs> I can't describe it, but you'll need a towel afterward. <laughs> I think you need a bigger size of pants, because your Manayunk is all kind of pushing against it. Yeah, this is no good for your mana This is no, no good. Look, your mana yunk is... You can see your mana yunk in these pants. Oh, no, it's chafing. This is no good for you. <laughs> Who, I, what accent are we doing? I think I'm doing sort of Upper West Side work in a store, and you are German? That's correct, yeah. Okay, so I am originally from German, but a little bit of Dracula, a little bit South America. Yeah, and we are best friends, and we judge people's junk, because that's what we do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Lana was one that she said, uh, Craig, my friend Sarah and I are wondering, do you own a Russian Cossack hat? God, I always get asked that. I know. Every single night, where's your Cossack hat? Is that a thing kids are saying now for the a Cossack. sex thing? Yeah, the Cossack hat. Oh, is a Cossack hat? What yeah. is it then? It's something to do with uh, doing that little... <laughs> yeah, that's that. the thing, yeah. But then get your, get your elbows up a little bit higher. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> You really are revolting. Sorry, man. Um, all right, this is from James in Toronto. Toronto? Tor yeah, Toronto. We, Toronto, where we should have been tomorrow night or tonight or whenever, but I can't go because of my sinus. That's effect. right. A, right. Double, a double sinus. Uh, a double sinus double effect. Double sinus. Yeah, one viral, one bacterial. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Uh, James in Toronto says, uh, Craig, uh, get better soon. We'll catch you next time. Till then, enjoy the free material our mayor is supplying you. He's at it again. No, he is. He He's is. He's at it again. Yeah. Look, I don't, I don't know how the folks in Toronto or the rest of Canada are feeling about Mayor Rob Ford, but on behalf of the late-night television community, thank you, sir. <laughs> Although we haven't really done anything on him. Not really. We've sort of laid low on that, yeah. Yeah, why? Well, because we're busy doing testicle jokes. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Liz in Columbia in Maryland. I love Maryland. Why? Oh, because that's where you get crabs. That's right. Uh, <laughs> somebody just owe you yeah, for that? Man. You're about five years too late. We always do that joke yeah, when Maryland is there. I'm a robot. Uh, get a hold of yourself. Yeah, really. What? Nothing. <laughs> Liz says, uh, Craig, do you have a pet name for Jeff? I do. <laughs> Would you like to hear it? Jeff, what is it again? It's silly pepper steak. Silly pepper steak? That's silly pepper snake. Oh. I, I was like, pepper steak? I like pepper steak. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense at all. I, sometimes I think the audience just comes here to mock us. They do. They do. These are all my friends. I invited them. <laughs> Uh, this is from Danny in Muncie, Indiana. It says, Craig, I thought I'd check to see about whether the rhinoceros is working. Is it? Are you working yet? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah! Excellent! Yeah. Wow. Oh, very, very good. So, how are things? Yeah, pretty good. Just, you know, <laughs> you know, hanging around. <laughs> how, uh, how you doing? I'm all right. I got a sinus infection. I imagine as a rhinoceros, that would be a, a danger. I think the worst danger is uh, having your ass hanging out the backside of a wall. <laughs> you never know who's going to be back there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the things we learn from nature. <laughs> there you are, that. That was great. I'm glad you uh, had that conversation. <laughs> well, we have to have a commercial break now. Maybe we should ask the rhinoceros to throw us at the commercial break. Oh, yeah, sure, that'd be good. All right, then. All right. What's your, what's your name, rhinoceros? I forget. Well, my, my name's Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I'd forgotten that. Yeah, that's uh -huh. right, yeah. So how did you end up with that name? Uh, you know, I was uh, born with lady parts, but uh, <laughs> I'm into football, croquet, things like that, so... <laughs> the name's stuck. It's a good name. What do you want? All right, okay. Uh, can you get us to the commercial break? Sure, why not? Okay, go. Good luck. <laughs> Tonight, the beautiful and talented actress. She stars in the new series True Detective, which is Sunday nights on HBO. Take a look at this. <laughs> That's kind of like at my house. <laughs> Woody Harrelson is always at my house. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Michelle Monaghan, everybody. Michelle Monaghan. Yellow 
just great. You know, I mean, really, you look sensational. I'm Thank sorry you. for more, not being more demonstrative, but no, 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 I'm, no. I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm still contagious. I'm no, no, little, no. You sound like you might be a little contagious. A little bit, yeah. I got a very bad sinus infection. It was, uh, you know, I got Well, it's little... no wonder it's a little cold in here. I, you know. <laughs> I didn't get it from here. Is no, it too cold? No. I like it because it keeps it's my crazy. nipples perfect. Oh, it's not. Okay. <laughs> nice. You know, I just heard a really great remedy, actually, for a sinus infection. Oh, good, because no one's uh, been suggesting them really? to Really? I bet they have it. I bet they have it. But if you take sliced onion and you put it by your bedside table at night when you sleep, and it's supposed to clear... I heard a what? <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I heard. I, from Get what, rid some of, of the studio audience I heard, <laughs> what? <laughs> No, and it's funny because that was in my head. What? Well, yeah, it's, it's, and I don't know if it actually works, but somebody just told me that sliced onion by the bedside will clear your, your, your nasal passages. I think it's probably hogwash, but okay. I will tell you this. <laughs> I am on antibiotics now. You, okay, that's uh, yeah, good. You're that's, on the men then. That seems to be the, uh, the... Is it kind of fun? It's having an effect. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of happy. Or half not? Uh, yeah, sort of. Just like any yeah. other day, though. Right? Hey! <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh, well, you know what? Your kids are, are young, too, aren't My they? My kids are really young. I'm a five year old, and then I have a three month old baby boy. Well, yeah, you see, right? So you're no stranger to infection in the no. house, then. You know, no, they, it's, it's, it's yeah. true. It's, it's true. It's like, oh, man. Uh, my son actually um, has, is, uh, it was a 10 pounder. What? But but I thought that was like a really big deal until I saw the monologue and there was a 15 pound baby born in California. It's yesterday. not a competition, Michelle. <laughs> no. No, I still. Ten pounds is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. That's a lot. Baby, the big but. Yeah, I'm sort of now thinking, you know, forget the college fund. I'm gonna save for a food fund now at this point. Is he still big? Yeah, he's very very big. He's very very big. What about the new one? The, the, no, no, the new one is 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 the 10 pounds. Oh, was the, yeah. what was the other one? Just like regular? She was six pounds. Six, six yeah. pounds? Yeah, that's about pounds. there, right? But I'm glad now that you I've got... Just, you had a 10 pound baby three I months did, ago? I did, I did. What I the did. hell kind of drugs are you on? <laughs> what do you do? You look great. Thank you. I mean, really? Thank you. Thank you. Well, I mean, are you very uh, health? You must be very health conscious and you. I, uh, you know, yeah, I eat a balanced. I eat a balanced diet. Yeah. Here and there. Yeah. yeah. Co cocaine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> listen, congratulations on this show. Thank I, you. Uh, I, I haven't seen it yet because I've got it in the. You know where you stack them up and then you watch them all. Yes. And that's why I'm going to. You binge. You binge. Yeah, I do binge. Yeah. And also, I, I'm going to do that with the TV show. I'm yeah. Gonna, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, I'm gonna. It's really, it's really good. I'm super proud of it. It's, uh, it's actually really riveting. Yeah. Um, and and you go actors, pretty good. And actors the, there. the actors are great. Woody, Matthew. I mean, yeah. they're really. All right, all right. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> He's very nice, isn't he? He's very, very nice. He has a brother called. Uh, is it? Rooster, I think it's Yeah, he Rooster. does have a yeah, brother yeah. called Rooster. Because Rooster watches this show. This is the only reason Matthew was ever on this show. Yeah. Because he said to me, the first time he was on the show, like he did the show, and then uh, during the commercial break he said, Rooster was right about you. <laughs> what? You know, I said, <laughs> what do you mean? He said, well, he said, you're a little different. <laughs> and then he said, Rooster's never right about anything. Oh, God, that's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, he's great. He's like a good old boy. Salt Rooster. <laughs> yeah. Salt of the earth. He is. Very nice man, isn't yeah, he? He's yeah, he's amazing. They're amazing very nice guy. people. Yeah, no, it's good. And uh, Woody, of course, smokes a lot of marijuana. Yeah, he, uh... so I've heard. So I've heard. Oh, he's shut up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not a secret. It's like the Willie Nelson thing. It's he, like... It, it, yeah, he's like, he's like a Willie... And they're very good friends, actually. Wow, well, I can imagine yeah, yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the Willie Nelson's tour bus get pulled over by a cop in Texas? And I'm like, oh, well done, detective. Well, you know what? It's funny because uh, 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 Woody actually has a bus that looks like it's like an old Grateful Dead bus. It probably and, is. And it, yeah. No, I think it is. And he's, he's put solar panels on it, and there's like a yoga swing in it. and it's like, Yoga swing? Yeah, no, no. It's like this crazy, crazy contraption. What the hell is a yoga swing? Yeah, I know. I, know. I, I, I don't know, but it's, it looks like it could be used for a number of different things. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. That's, that's all I'm saying. Wait, wait.
I think. Yeah. I think I've just. I think I've just figured out what happened. You wanted to see you on the bus. Yeah. They show you on the bus. You see the swing. You see. Uh, well, Willie, what's that? And he goes. Yeah. Uh, it's a yoga swing. <laughs> and you're like, oh. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, ooh, it was man. something like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <sighs> but anyway, but Matthew also has a trailer, but his is like a 1960s, like refurbished Airstream, like super cool. Do you have a trailer? No, mine was, mine was really embarrassing. It was like no personality whatsoever. I had total trailer envy. Well, if, maybe you, you've made a little money now. You can get yourself a trailer. <laughs> exactly. Maybe I take your kids and your like husband and go around run. America yeah. on your in your little trailer. There you go, like a little VW wagon, something like that. Nah, nothing too hippie. Get something big, <laughs> right? With paw pouts and okay. go to the trailer parks. I do like those paw pouts. Yeah, they're very nice. It's kind and of And also true. the things that come out of the trailer. Well, you know, we used to have growing up in Iowa. <laughs> growing up in Iowa, we used to have uh, we used to camp a lot. Right. And we used to have a high-low camper. Have you ever heard of those? I think so. Remind and me. Got, and it would it would fold all the way down. And I just thought we were like the bee's knees, like when our family got the high-low camper. That's very cool. Right, because we were in a 12-man tent. And there were only four or five of us, or five of us. Right. But but we got the high-low, and you just push the button, and you see this thing raise up. And I, I just thought, like, it's like the, like the forerunner cool, to the, like the cool yoga swing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Was it's awesome. I love all that. Yeah, oh, I do, I do like trailer life, which is good because I think I'm headed that way. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break, uh, okay. but we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Michelle. Mara, right back. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, we're back. Yeah, what were you saying? I was saying, it was, I think it was my first time here, my first or second time. Right. You were doing, you were working with a lot of puppets. Oh, those and were you the days. Yeah, and yeah. you had this eagle that you passed on to me because I shared with you that our daughter loves puppets. Right. And I am telling you, she sleeps with that puppet every single night. Still? She takes it to school. Oh. And I, I, you know, I think of you often in your show. I watch your show, and I think, God, I like Craig. But, like, I literally, like, every time I see that puppet... I think of you, I think of you, the eagle. <laughs> the eagle's I think again. my heart grew two sizes oh, that day. <laughs> it's true. That's lovely. But it's, it is very really nice. sweet. It's very sweet. She loves it. She loves it. Oh, this God is very bless thoughtful. Her. It's like the gift that, that's, you know, kept giving. That's, well, that's what they say. If you want to impress a woman, give her a puppet to one of her children. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're out of time. Okay, great. Oh, great, is it? Uh, all right. Well, we're out of time. Uh, do you want an awkward pause or something else? I'll take an... No, I like an awkward pause. Awkward pause is probably best yeah. to avoid the interaction yeah, exactly. of... Yeah, you know. exactly. Okay. You're a really good actor. You just started awkward pause and then I wasn't even ready. I was... one of the best football players of all time. You will see him at Super Bowl Sunday on the NFL Network. Take a look at this.
I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry for not touching you and, uh, you know, making out with you a little bit, but I'm, I'm covered in germs. I don't want to get you sick. I don't want to get sick, neither. No, you don't want to get sick. That was amazing to look at that, you know, that pep top you were giving the Giants earlier in the season right there. And then, how did that work out? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> They never wakey wakey. They didn't they never, wakey wakey. They never. They kept losing. And yeah, well, that's going to work against you. Um, <laughs> but you'll you'll be going to the game, obviously. I, oh yeah, I'm going to the game. I I, well, I wish I can go to the game in that trailer that Woody had. What was that swing thing she was talking about? It's it's called a it's called a yoga swing. A yoga swing. It's a yoga swing, Michael. Uh, people use it to stretch. That's the kind. Of, <laughs> that's the kind of yoga swing they had in the hotel room when they arrested me. Yeah. That's the kind of, <laughs> That's the same guy. You know, the swing. <laughs> but it was. It was. All right, I'll let it go. So, let so it what go. you're saying is that what I'm, happened in that I'm, hotel I'm room? I'm, I ain't saying anything. What happened in that was, in fact, an informal <laughs> yoga session. That, that's exactly that, right. That's See, a, you should have had me defend you. <laughs> <laughs> I was still All right, in so, jail. As soon as, uh, <laughs> who's going to win then? Do you know, you, will, you, uh, would you, will you put yourself on the line for that one? Who, you know what? And you know what's funny about this Super Bowl? Because we, you know, everybody I, I guess, loves Peyton Manning. I guess Peyton no Manning. is the answer there. But don't you love Peyton Manning? Everybody wants Every Peyton Manning to win another Super Bowl. Well, only get, so, yeah, yeah, get, yeah, 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 yeah. Get the ring. I love how, right, because his brother has two his already. His brother has two, he only has one, which yeah. makes him the loser of the family. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Seattle, too, now. Yeah. I love Seattle. What about uh, Mr. Sherman? That's, uh, do you know why I, I think it's a sure. shame? Is what happens is you get you get a young athlete who's so excited and yep. so full of adrenaline and so yep. freaked out by what's going on, and then suddenly it's like, boom, boom. talk to the nation. Yeah. You know, it's... <laughs> and that's what they did. They, yeah. well, first of all, listen, when I got in the league, you couldn't do a lot of things. Now they got... People in the locker room, ladies in the locker room. Know, yeah. Wow, you're naked. Yeah. They're in the locker room. Yeah. And then they want to know right after the game, they want the inside feeling. And you got an inside feeling. You're so hyped as a player. He just made the play to send his team to the Super Bowl. Right. You can expect some of that. I mean, they, they had to be hyped. I mean, of course, I got three of those. So. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to make sure that you yeah. know, you know, I, I got like that three times, you know. <laughs> But, I mean, I don't know. Do you think it goes too far? Like, coverage of the game, I love the fact that right. they can pull apart the game and right. look at it at every angle. I actually prefer watching it on TV because I can see what's going on. But if you get that close, you're going to get some things that you don't think is really that nice. And right. Then we always say, what about the kids? <laughs> like, come on, man. Them kids know what's going oh, on. Oh, yes, they, they got do. That, yeah, you know, yeah. that website stuff is off the chain. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what, what websites we talking about? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Are you That's like, so funny, man. No, oh, come on now. That's no, so you, your kids are growing up now, aren't they? Yeah, my kids are. Well, I got 23, an 18 year old, 16, and a 15. F yeah, 16 my boys. And 15, yeah. You my boys. Yeah, yeah. They I think so they slick. Oh, they do think they're I, slick. They think they can get away. I know everything. I tell them, I say, you're just a little me. I know. <laughs> That's, all they that's, are. that's a frightening thought for any of them. But you know, do, do they say this to you? Do they, do they say things are different now, Dad, than it when when you were a kid? Because that's what mine says. That things are different now. I'm like, really? Yeah, they always yeah. say that. I yeah, say, yeah you're right. It, you cost more than I cost my mom. Yeah, that's what I said. They cost a lot. A lot of money. I, I don't think they. I mean, they money. should tell you that before you have kids that you'll never sleep again and all your money's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's true, though, right? <laughs> you're, so funny. you're boys athletes? Yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. Oh yeah. And I we work I work them to death. Somebody's gotta get these bills, man. I'm tired of paying them. So absolutely. We get up every morning, 5 30, and we get a workout in. Do you work out every I mean you look like you're in great shape. You're like like you're like Michelle Monaghan sitting there. You're so uh I don't I don't I don't, I, I don't look that good. That, that, look that, good. that woman had a ten, a ten pound baby three months ago. Isn't that incredible? That's she, crazy. And, and she looks great. And and this what kills me now because I don't want to be, you know, she had a baby and looks like that. And then you see retired athletes, and they look like two of these chairs put together. Yeah. And I'm like, man, you know, I don't, I just don't want to be one of those guys. I don't want to be follically or calorically challenged. Wow. 
But I think you're doing all right. No, I think you're doing all right. <laughs> it must be tough, though. It must be tough when you go from that amount of physical activity and then your career comes to an end, as it must for all athletes, yeah. and then if you don't stay up with that activity and you keep putting the calories in, boom, yeah, burst yeah. sofa. Yeah, yeah, and, and I got big at first. I got it right out. Because, you know, after you retire, you're like, that's it, I'm done. And then I was picking up a good friend of mine from the airport, uh, Deion Sanders, and he looked at me, he said, oh. I said, what's wrong? He said, you didn't feel that other fella crawling up in your skin? So that's what I decided. Maybe I should lose some weight and get yeah. back in shape. You look good, though. The first time I met you was at the Miami Super Bowl. When it yeah, was, we had uh, a good time. Yeah, that was we good. You, you had that. I remember I thought, I'm going to like this guy because you had an ankle-length fur coat on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, in Miami, I had a rainbow. Yeah, in Miami. In Miami. It was, it was hot. I think, I think you had a hat that matched the coat. <laughs> It was hey, a oh good look, man. You were kind of, oh you looked like a pimp from the forest. <laughs> yeah, that was me. That was me. No, was I, I look back at some of, some, of, some of the old things I did, and I was like, what were you thinking? You know, like, like you know, I, I, okay, I wore that same mink coat to court, and that was pretty stupid. That was pretty stupid. Well, <laughs> you know, you're a young man. You're full of excitement and energy and, you know, a couple of bad ideas, maybe. <laughs> Anyway, listen, it's, it's lovely to That's see you true. again. I, I'm sorry it's that you can't true, make a prediction man. for the, for the game, but I understand well, that... I won't see... I, I think Seattle win. My heart wants paid in Wes Welker to get a Super Bowl ring. That's just where my heart is. I love Wes Welker, little, little receiver, because Wes Welker's a small guy that plays in a land of big black guys, a yeah. giant, big black wide receiver, 6'2", 240, 30 pounds, and then this little guy comes in and blows everybody away. I want him to have a ring. That kitten throws a football like me. <laughs> Jeff, I'm going to stand by the fire. I have some chocolate in my hand, some chocolate dollars, and I want them to get melty before I put them in my mouth. Nothing like a nice melty chocolate dollar. And if you want to find more of that, go to Yoga Hammock. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can say that. That might be a real website. If it is a real website, then... Uh, we're sorry, and if it's not a real website, it'll, it, it will be by now. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you're not allowed to say the name of, of real websites unless it's CBS.com, right? You can say that. So if you want to know about sex swings, go to CBS.com. <laughs> and you'll learn nothing. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, I have to tell you very quickly, I got a phone call today. You did? From Regis Philbin. Holy mackerel. Regis Philbin, broadcasting legend, to tell me that I don't treat you with enough respect. Yeah, that's show. right. Because he was the sidekick on the Joey Bishop show. That's right. Which four people have watched. <laughs> no, that was a big show it back was a in big the day. Show back then, yes. Yeah, that, that was the, the chocolate yeah. dollar of, of its course, day. Of course it was. <laughs> so you heed the word of Mr. Philbin. If only I could remember what he sounded like. You know, Craig, you gotta treat that robot with more respect. Good night, Reese.